Hey guys, it's Josh, back with another OkCupid video. It's my birthday today, February 3rd, 2015. I turned 24, and I figured maybe I would check my OkCupid. I haven't been on here in a while. Uh, maybe it's gotten me a gift of a good match. So let's go ahead and log in. Two messages, that's a good sign. Uh, 70 visitors and 45 quick matches. Let's save the messages for a bit later. Let's look at the quick match. Uh, no. Um, no. I like her outfits, though. No, it's too kawaii for me. Um, yeah, why not? 91% match, too. That's pretty good. Let's actually look at his page. Uh, I'm tan assed southern boy from Texas. I'm a longhorn. No innuendo. That's the fact that you referenced it. I love Kesha with no shame. I have a <laughs> I have a bad history with people who love Kesha, so so we'll find out. Thinks he's a good storyteller, that's a good sign. Uh, writers, okay. Food, yes. Writers, Walt Whitman. I don't know who John Don is. Lots of Shakespeare. Uh, okay. Not bad, not bad. Filmmakers, Woody Allen, Sofia Coppola, Wes Anderson, Alfonso Cuaron. Good taste in film. This I like this guy. This guy's got good tastes. Music. Fleetwood Mac. I got a good history with her. Or them. Uh, things you can never do it without. I don't know what that is. Pen and paper, that's a good sign. Natural light, okay. Bourbon, yeah. This guy seems pretty cool. I'm very fond of going to bars by myself and reading. Kind of weird, but I like it. Sounds weird, yeah. Sounds weird, but it's a great environment to con concentrate on what's in front of me. Also, I get more of the city. Or I get to see more of the city. Buddy Threadgood is my ideal man, so if you don't measure up, keep on surfing. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Is it Brad Pitt in a movie? It's from Fried Green Tomatoes. I've seen that movie maybe once. I, it's, I don't know. I feel like I maybe measure up to them just fine. Yeah, this guy seems pretty cool. Let's see how we match, because apparently we do. Gay marriage should be legal. It's very important they agree. You date someone, what? Gay marriage shouldn't be legal for anyone. It's a religious ceremony made legal to allow the acquisition and sharing of property and wealth. If you want to do that, start appropriation next. Yeah, next, I agree. That guy sounds annoying and pretentious. Let's keep looking. These are people who visited my page. He's pretty cute. She's pretty cute. I like the ginger hair. I like her big floppy hat. Mm, nothing to note. Let's go to the messages. I think this is my first messages, not from OkCupid, so I'm excited. Let's check it out. First, this one. Hi, Josua Dates. I'm looking for a new friend. Would you like to text? I am in New York now. My number is... I'll have to block that out in post. Uh, text me if you like. I have private pics. Not interested. Sorry. Hi. So Let's see if we match. You're 30. <laughs> I am 30, lonely, Brooklyn. <laughs> This is kind of sad. Um, say microbiology. She's from Ireland. That's good. I am uh, Irish descent. She's good at Irish sport. Cooking, baking, telling jokes. She likes Mice and Mance. Good book. Movies more than me. Never saw it. Shows Big Bang Theory. That's kind of a deal breaker. Band Oasis. It's a decent band. Food, pizza with three A's. She really likes it. Six things you should never do without. Hair dye. Books. You're naturally a redhead. She's got cute brown hair. Um, sitting in with my girlfriends with a bottle of wine and a movie. 
So she's bisexual. She could mean girlfriends like female girlfriends or female friends that are girls. Let's uh, see these. January 21st, bisexual, white, other. Hey, I'm Aquarius too. I wonder when her birthday is. Is that, that's when she was last online. Is that her birthday too? Different year, obviously. Ooh, she makes a lot of money. Sign language. That's pretty cool. I think I'll message her back. Let's uh, look at the two of us, though. See if we... Mm. She hates tall and lanky men. Well, I'm not that. Uh, just put more weight in science or faith. Science. It's somewhat important that they also put it in science. Hmm. Okay, we agree on that. Don't agree on that. She's answered a lot of the same questions as I have. Oh, she's only answered 26. I guess I'll finish matching these, see how good of a match we are. Do you join OK Cupid just so you can find people to have sex with? No, and it's very important that they didn't either. Are you a Buddhist? No, they can be. Do you kiss on the first date? Under the right circumstance. Um, they can have whatever. What are their questions? Pubic style or pubic hairstyle? Um, I mean, what do I prefer? I don't want it completely wild. So at least neatly trimmed. Um, they can pick any of those. Oh, really? Well, she's bisexual. I feel like it would be different between what do you want in a guy or a girl partner. Not that mine is, so I don't know. Um, so I was recently re-watching my other videos in this series, and I noticed that there was one someone that I uh, liked that I never really looked at the page of. So let's see if we can, no, maybe that's not his name. Vander nine, no, I thought it was Vander 92. Well, never mind then. But yeah, anyways, this is just gonna be a quick video, guys. Uh, I just came on here to get an update, see if I've had any messages or anything doesn't seem like I've had any serious messages. I had that one. I guess I'll message her back. Just a hey, and should I do a smiley face too? I'm not going to do a smiley face. I'm going to play it cool. I do smiley faces and text, text messages, but not for, yeah, not for emails. That's a no. That's... That's a tough one. I'm going to say no. 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 Mm -mm. Nope. She's pretty cute. Grew up half in New Jersey, half in Houston, then went to school in Boston. Loved being in the city, but also need to see some trees every so often. Professional bandwagoner. That's a turn off. Really good at being sarcastic. Yeah, I'm not. No. I don't like people who acknowledge their sarcasm. It defeats the purpose almost. I especially hate it when people list sarcasm as one of their languages. It's such a turn off. This guy's pretty cute, and if it weren't for this picture, I'd probably be more interested. He just looks really annoying, but let's find out. A banana, basically a white dude in an Asian body. Never heard of that. He likes cats. 
Uh, well, I saw the word Pokemon. Grew up with Pokemon, played an MMO, MMO RPG. Yeah, and I've never played that one. Played StarCraft, had Pokemon cards, had Magic cards, love fantasy, sci-fi, and all types of imagination. Not an active gamer, get it? Because he's gay. Still consider myself to be one because it has been a part of me growing up. Good for you, though. Good for you. Oh, and also this could be a huge thing for some gays. Masculinity and femininity. I don't think he spelled that right. Too many ins. On a scale from one to gay, I've been told I'm a five. Not too masculine, neither too feminine. He seems pretty feminine in these pictures. Uh, summing up, I'm a guy with good head on the shoulders. Simple, but not difficult to be with. Working at an architecture firm in Brooklyn. Trying to get into part two. There's a lot of Asians into architecture here in New York. Just something I've noticed. Okay, books and movies and shows. These are important. Books, the five love languages. Never heard of it. Daring Greatly, never heard of it. Staying Fat for Sarah Brines, never heard of it. A Nectar in the Sea, never heard of it. Harry Potter, I read the first five. Animal Farm, love it. Kite Runner, watch the movie, good movie. Metamorphosis, never read it. Either or, never read it. Fahrenheit 451, one of my favorite books we have to read in school. Anthem, Death in Venice, never read them. Movies, AI, pretty good. iRobot, meh. Disney films, pretty general. Pixar films, typically good. Superhero movies, pretty good usually. Fun at least. Mainly sci-fi, fantasy, 3D animated, blah, blah, blah. SpongeBob, meh. Game of Thrones, yes. Family Guy, yes. Robot Chicken, yeah. Simpsons, eh. Spartacus, RuPaul, Drag Race, Rome, no. Pokemon, yeah. Discovery, National Geographic, I don't know if you do Jason Mraz, used to be my favorite musician. So that's a pretty good sign. Sushi and anything else I can fit in my mouth. Suggestive, not a big fan. I do love sushi. Six things I can never do without. He broke the rule by adding seven, so I'm not even going to bother reading those. Spent a lot, a lot of time thinking about who I am going to become and what the person in front of me is thinking about. Most private thing he's willing to admit. I'm an introvert at heart, but an extrovert in person. I'm gay. I've noticed a lot of people in New York also describe themselves like horoscopes, where they say one thing and then the complete opposite, like this. Introvert at heart, but extrovert in person. So many people I've met have described themselves as, I'm really shy, but I'm outgoing once you get to know me. Or the opposite of like, oh, I'm a really open person, but I have those moments where I'm introverted. And it just sounds complicated and annoying. What is this? I've heard about Strand Bookstore. I've not been, but I've heard great things. What is this event, though? Drink wine and swap books with people? That sounds awesome, but what books do I have that I'm willing to give out? A hundred percent of all these people that are going would not eat something out of the trash. If I went, I'd be the only person who would eat something out of the trash if it was still good. And most of them are careful with their money. I'd be in the minority there. Um, a lot of street women. A lot of carnivores. Which should be omnivore, shouldn't it? And likes dogs. Yeah, everyone likes dogs. 52 people. Every single one of them would not eat something out of the trash. Sad day. Alright, well that's been it for this video. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to go check if I had any messages. Apparently I did. So I responded to one. This one seems like a scam. And this is just a welcome message from OKCupid's website. But uh, if you like this series, let me know by hitting the thumbs up, subscribing, or leaving a comment. I don't really know who watches these, but I tend to get 10 to 20 views on them. So someone's out there. I know my sister is now. I just introduced her to it. So uh, Sierra, you should leave a comment letting us know what you think. Do a couple more of these.
My sister's right, I am kind of harsh on this, but uh, that's life.